All right. Who was the first person that said, hey, we ought to go retake the Holy Lands? Was it Pope John Paul I? Pope Urban I? Pope Urban II? Or Pope John Paul II? I think our answer is Urban II. Besides the reconquest of the Holy Land, another major goal of the Crusades was to encourage unity among the European leaders, keep them from killing each other or trying to. What economic impact did the Crusades have? It ended creatively, it caused deflation, it caused a depression, or it reinvigorated trade. And our best answer is reinvigorated trade. So let's see how we did. And we got the first one right, and we got the second one right, and we got the third one right. Monarchs benefited from the Crusades because they were able to take power from their regional lords. Who benefited from the Crusades because they were able to demand more payment for their labor because of a decrease in the workforce and population and increase in trade with the Islamic world? And that would be laborers, people who work for a living. The Crusades eventually led to a blank in Europe because Europeans were re-exposed to a classic lear learning that had been kept alive and studied in the Islamic world. We call that a renaissance. All right. Regional lords, merchants, renaissance. Awesome. Urban the first or Urban the second calls for action. Peter the Hermit preaches the People's Crusade. Troops gather in Constantinople. This isn't okay. People's Crusade arrives in Constantinople. Destroyed by the Turks, October of 97. The Siege of Antioch begins, June of 98. Mohammedan captures Antioch, June of 1099. The Crusaders take Jerusalem. And in December of 1100, Baldwin is crowned king of Jerusalem. Okay. Did they get that? No. Okay, so the, the first one is urban calls for action. Right. 